Well, we are in Phoenix at lunchtime. Look at that slingshot. That sucker sharp. Those are getting more and more popular. I always thought having a trike with two wheels up front and one in the back would be kind of cool if someone built one. Before they started with these, you had to build one yourself. That'll giddy up go. The traffic in Phoenix coming down was pretty good, but as expected. Oh, that's too bad. Ooh, one under it. Oh, nobody's hurt. The sun's shining. Ooh, it's bright already. Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm. Me? Well, I'm pretty good. Um, got something that I've got to do today. My friend John, back here with a truck and trailer. Uh, he's leaving camp today. He had uh, some family members fly in from Michigan down here to Phoenix. Uh, they're gonna drive back together, uh, back across the United States, gonna take his truck and trailer. But uh, John's not feeling very well even though he's got 3 million miles under his belt pulling RVs, the 100, 120 miles from Quartzsite to Phoenix, he's just not comfortable doing. So, I'm going to drive him down there. Uh, I've got a friend that's going to follow me in the element right here. Uh, so, I'll drive John down. They'll follow me, chase me in the element. And we'll come back. That's her day. So, you want to go with us? I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, yeah, go with us. Come on. So I am very much, very much enjoying the new tracker. Uh, I do have a name for it. I guess I could share that now. Uh, maybe it should be called uh, Dusty, because ever since I got it here in the desert, I can't keep it clean. Had to put a window regulator in it, work on the air conditioning. My exhaust manifold bolts were loose, had to tighten them up. But other than that, it's doing real well. I'm averaging um, about 20, 21 miles per gallon. These larger tires affect it a little bit. I'd probably get about 25 without the tires, but they sure do look good. So, what am I going to name it? What's well, a real simple name? Red. Just red. And a couple people uh, put that down in the comments that that would make a good name. So it's not Mr. Red, Miss Red. It's just red. Is that a boy or girl? Don't know. It's just red. So, thought about simply red, but red. All right, so now we have the tracker named. And if you think that's silly, you don't name your vehicles, well, good for you. But I name everything. It just makes life more fun. So John has hooked up his trailer, has moved it around. My friend right there, Carolyn, and her leprechaun. Um, I'm going to get her to keep the babies today. Uh, I recently uh, went into Phoenix the uh, day before yesterday in the baby's road. And uh, it's just a little bit too much road time for them. It's hard on the babies. It's hard on the babies to keep riding like that because they don't know if we're driving for five minutes or five hours. So when I can give them a break, that's what I do. So our camp has definitely started to change looks. My friends, uh, David, uh, gone book gone boom docking uh hour shower guy they're moving today felix he was parked here 
course he's already been gone a week or so I'm not sure how much longer my friends uh, from New Mexico are going to stay here so uh, yep I believe this camp is going to splinter people have been asking me okay Kevin how are you gonna move all your vehicles uh, I'll get into the element later but I am gonna tow the I am gonna tow red and that means that the KLR here, um, I'm not going to have a way to transport it. The monkey fits in the garage. It's got a great place. Uh, I'm not going to sell the monkey. I really like the monkey. But I am going to sell this KLR. Yeah, I put the uh, aftermarket uh, pannier boxes on it by Tusk. I put on a metal skid plate. Put on the KLR dash, windshield. Oh, she's dusty. 4,200 miles. Put on new mirrors as well. So if you guys are in the market for a KLR, let me know. Contact me at the camper van Kevin at AOL.com. I just uh, put a doohickey on it. That's a chain tensioner part and had the valves adjusted. Oh, and also brand new tires. So she's ready to go. She is not, she's perfect except for, uh, it fell over at one time. A guy told me that I bought it from, it fell over and it uh, tweaked this crash bar right here and cracked the plastic. And that piece is like $160 at Kawasaki. I just hadn't got it. I don't think it looks bad enough to mess with. So anyway, a nice low mileage KLR right here. And selling that, will allow me to tow red the tracker but okay uh caroline over here in the leprechaun she's uh she's gonna keep the babies today so i'll get the babies to her tucker you got the furnace on when the door is wide open let's just cut that off you guys are gonna stay with caroline today uh, you mean it I, I like caroline a lot she lets me sit in her lap the sun and stuff that's the little things huh I like Karen a lot. Yeah, she's a sweet lady. Daddy, yeah, Martini. I want to go with you. I know, baby, but John's truck is a five-speed. I'm gonna have my hands full with that trailer and a five-speed, and the traffic in Phoenix is gonna to be too much. So you're gonna stay here, and we'll be back as soon as we can. Okay, y'all, come on. Oops, I'd have got you, Martini. No, oh, your little legs. I'm getting sore getting in and out of these steps. You want to take a toy? You want to take a toy with you? Let's get this one right here. Felix bought for you. Come on. There's another toy you see? Come on. We don't have time for this. We'll get you over here. Baby May Mays. Take you to the babysitter. Thank you, Carolyn. Here's John's truck we'll be driving today. I think it's a 96 or 97 Dodge Ram 2500. Got the Cummins diesel in it. Coachman Freedom Express. I'm guessing that's a 25 footer. Yep, yep. And like I said, John used to deliver RVs. Got three million miles under his belt. And uh, they're almost all done exclusively with these Rams, these Cummins engines. Baby May Mays, you gotta stay here, baby. So it's been a while since I towed a trailer, but pressure cleaning, I pulled a 25 foot trailer for 12 years and then an 18 foot trailer for another 10 years. And there's some other stuff, so. Maybe it's like riding a bicycle, it'll come back to me. Five speed, good pick em up truck right here. It's got 370,000 miles on it. John, he gets a million miles out of these trucks. I'm gonna let John drive to the trash dump. On the way out, let him leave his campsite and then uh, 
from there, I'll take over and get her to Phoenix. I've had two Dodge trucks, a uh, half ton and a three quarter ton. They both had the 360s engine. They were new in 2001. I can only get 10 miles to the gallon. But this combination with the, spot, the five speed and the Cummins engine, if he wasn't towing, I've got a friend that gets 25 out of his. But more power than you'll ever need. And I'm a power stroke guy, but Cummins will be my next, my next pick. So John here, he's been driving Dodge trucks for quite a while. Got 370,000 miles on this one. And this is your third or fourth Dodge? Fourth. Fourth. How many miles you got towing RVs? Three million. Three million miles. What, what, what do you like? I got, a, I got over one million on one truck. One million? Over a million. And it never got towed off the road. So that's why you drive them? What, what years are the best? That was 97. What year is this truck? It's 06, and it's a good truck. I got, this is my second 06. Okay. And uh, I bought this and used, and it's doing good. I had to put new injectors in it. But other than that, it's, it's running great. At 370,000 miles. What what kind of gas mileage, what kind of fuel mileage do these things get towing? And uh... You get uh, 10 pulling and 20 empty. That's the general. Yeah. That's about what I about what I expected. Uh -huh. People tell you better than that, but that's not true. I never had one that would go over ten miles a gallon towing a camper. And you'd know. Unless it was just a little dinky thing. So you're from Michigan and Elkhart, Indiana wasn't that far from you, so that's how you started getting into towing RVs? Yep. Yeah, I had to get into something easy. Or my back was messed up, so. Right, all right. Okay, I got you. I and and that's another thing about the Dodge, the Dodge seat in you know, '97. Yeah. And not all of them are good, but that one, that one was a, it cured my back. It got your back feeling better. Yeah. So if you were, if you were going to, if you could buy any brand new truck, or you could buy any truck today to do this kind of job, people traveling and pulling RVs, oh, you're the man. You, you've got more experience than anybody I know. What is the year truck? What is the the engine transmission combination? All my viewers that you know want to get they come out with a tougher transmission, the automatic. The Allison? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, it's a uh, Mercedes Dodge Mercedes transmission. So what's what's the year? What, tell me, what's the combination? I don't know. To build your perfect truck. I, I've been out of it for. I haven't bought a truck for over, since '06. All right. So, so if you had to get a used truck, and you were going to buy one today, what would you go look for? I'd go look for a 97. A 97? <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Because yeah. that's the old 12 valve. And when it got away from that, it, it, uh, it improved some. It also... You lost some reliability, didn't you? Yeah. I lost, I lost assurance on the road how, how far I could get with that computer system. So an 07 with a 5-speed, 3-quarter ton, 1 ton, that'd get it for you, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a million-mile truck. Oh, yeah. It is. I got a friend just put a million miles on his 19, uh, 2011. Okay. And without doing anything to it, serious. All right. All right. I uh, I like your hat. I'm I'm being polite. I'm not showing your face, but can, can I see your hat? Yeah. <laughs> this this man has got his got his got his mind and heart in the right place. All right, thank you, John. Well, that helps a lot of people that's going to start traveling and RVing out here. This man's hauled RVs three million miles. He says the best truck if he could buy one today is a '97 model, two-wheel drive, five-speed Cummins diesel. Yep. But you, you wouldn't be against a four-wheel drive, but I, I, I ended up putting a six-speed transmission in that. Okay, because the transmission were pretty weak, but uh, they come out with a heavier transmission. It can't seem to keep up with that Cummins motor. <laughs> all right, all right. Ford had trouble with the automatics and their power strokes, so. Yeah. All right, now we know. This is how it's done, son. First gear. We had a good camp here, didn't we, John? Yeah, sure did. 
good folks. Good camp, good folks, good friends. Can't believe we stayed in one spot so long. All right, me and John are gonna trade places here. He's pulled out of the campsite. We're up here at the dumpster. Yeah. I'm gonna get this pick him up truck to where it needs to go. Okay. You gotta get the mirrors adjusted for me. Get the seat pulled back. John adjusted that mirror over there for me. John, I'm taller than you. I gotta move them up. Yeah. <laughs> That'll work. This is gonna be the last of my filming while I'm driving. I'm not gonna film while I'm on the road. This thing's got a clutch in it. You gotta hunker down and get on it. John says you need a strong clutch because you're pulling weight. Looks like a lot of folks have gone home, John. Yeah. A lot of RVs are gone. You're good this way. Thank you, boss. All right, pulled into the Hampton Inn down here in Tucson. I don't know why this camera's not focusing right. John, I got it down here in one piece, boss. Hey, yeah, good deal. Leave enough room so you can get out. Yeah, did good, did very good, very good. Thank you, sir. Proud of you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> got you here in one piece. Good job. All right, John has settled in and he's got family going to come pick him up. down the road here for a minute. Well, we are in Phoenix at lunchtime. Look at that slingshot. That sucker sharp. Those are getting more and more popular. I always thought having a trike with two wheels up front and one in the back would be kind of cool if someone built one. Before they started with these, you had to build one yourself. They'll giddy up go. The traffic in Phoenix coming down was pretty good, but as expected. Oh, that's too bad. Ooh, one under it. Oh, nobody's hurt. The traffic in Phoenix is no bueno. No bueno. On the way here, there was a tractor trailer run off the road, went into the median. That's two wrecks today. So Felix gets his mail in quartzite like I do. And uh, he got a package that's supposed to have been delivered several weeks ago. Well, it came in yesterday. So went out and picked it up. So while I'm down here, getting John down here, get to see my buddy Felix and everybody says you shouldn't miss him so bad he's not that far but it don't matter if it's one minute or one hour you're not with your buddy you're not with your buddy but uh gosh more traffic so when I went and picked up his mail I'm gonna get it to him so we'll say hey to Felix before we end this video so we pulled uh, over here in the target and look who I see standing right there. He hadn't even spotted us yet. Maybe he spotted us. Got Felix some mail. Get him some mail before we head back to court site. <laughs> well, well, well. my friend <laughs> good to see you good to Thank see you good yeah yeah 
you know, somebody got on to me the other day. He said, how many times you go hug Felix before he go before he goes? I said, you know what? Twenty thousand times. I hug this man at least a thousand times. I won't feel guilty about it a bit. Right. Here's you some mail. Thank I, you. I opened it. Hey, tell me about Foxy. She is. She is. Hey, she is a picture of health. They check the heart, liver, kidneys. Yeah, yeah. They did the uh, blood work for the desert valley <laughs> fever thing. Did she have it? No, they're going to uh, send me either today or tomorrow. The results. Okay, but they don't think she has it. She don't think. So but the, to be safe. Oh, yeah. So why is she coughing? Do you still think it's the it's throat? The, it's the, yeah, it's the track here. That's why I get excited. They come out. So they got any that medicine was, for that? No, there's no good no medicine for that. Yeah, yeah, little breed suffer from this stuff. Yeah, that uh, that CBD oil from. Uh, yeah, I gotta call him up and find out the dosage. What was the name of it? Blue Dragon. Something. Like I'm that. gonna forget. You'll show it on your channel. Yeah. yeah it, but yeah. especially made for dogs. Yep, dogs and cats. Yep. Good to see you. Good to see you, Foxy lady. I got you a big package too. We we'll get that for you. All righty. Okay. Well, I got Felix's mail. Got my business done down here in uh, Phoenix. Got John to uh, to his family. They can take off and go back to Michigan. It's been a good day. Good day, yeah. All right, couldn't be better. Got to see my friend Felix. But I'm going to end this little video where right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. And as always, I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, He's my Savior. See you next time. Peace. Got, got one more video with you in it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bye, y'all.